El Salvador is one of those countries that a lot of backpackers skip due to safety concerns, and in this series, I'm going to show you why you need to visit El Salvador. It has a bad reputation for being an unsafe country, but since they've had a new president, it's become a lot safer and backpackers have started visiting. The locals are so friendly, the food is cheap and delicious, and the views are just stunning. My name is Chelsea, and I am currently solo backpacking around Central America, and I have arrived in the beautiful town of Santa Ana in El Salvador. In this video, we'll be heading over to the town of Hawaii to find some beautiful waterfalls on the Seven Waterfalls hike. El Salvador really does have some incredible views that cannot be missed. So stick around for this three-part series in El Salvador and see what this beautiful country has to offer. Okay, good morning everyone. Oh wait, is he still peeing in the background? <laughs> I was like, I don't want to be filming with you peeing in the background. You got me peeing in the background? <laughs> no, no, I didn't. I literally just turned it on. <laughs> Okay, good morning everybody. Um, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Chelsea um, and I'm currently solo backpacking in El Salvador. I'm in Santa Ana. Well, currently I'm in Hawaii um, and we are trying to do the Seven Waterfalls hike. We decided not to do it with a guide because we just want to see like a few of them, um, like the first couple, so we're going to try and find them. don't really know where it is though. There's like um, someone who lives like here um, and we're going to walk this way so like the way that you're like if you car carry on driving when you get dropped off um i don't really know how we're going to get back into the town um because someone said like oh yeah you can just get a tuk-tuk but like there's no tuk-tuks here so i think we would have to like walk down this track which would be about like half an hour maybe before we can even find a tuk-tuk not sure but we've got an all trails map um, that gives us a route and um, we're gonna just try and do the first couple and um, because we don't have time because I'm gonna be going to San Salvador this afternoon um, and yeah we don't have time to do all of them um, but, but yeah um, if you do want to get a guide it is only $15 um, it just we decided to try and do it on our own and uh, we did actually get a taxi here so like with what we've spent we probably should have just got a guide and taken the bus but it's fine. It's a it's a nice adventure. See if we can actually do it. <laughs> See if we can find any waterfalls. I'll actually be happy if we can find any. Um, but anyway, there is like this gate here, and we're gonna go down this path. We found a waterfall. Si ustedes quieren lo llevo. Si ustedes quieren lo llevo para para ver. Okay. Uh -huh. um, ustedes deciden. <laughs> uh -huh. Entonces. Um, I don't know what I even want to ask right now. My back is dripping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> tell me about it. Podemos ir uh, en la cascada allí y a la derecha sí, o a la de, izquierda. Ajá, para allá, para allá. Ahí van a llegar allá y allá van. Okay. Ajá. Allí o allí. 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 Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. We will try again because apparently this is the right way. Holy Christ! That's a big end. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. Jesus! It's like yellow. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> like it's huge. I don't want to get bitten by that, so let's go. <laughs> oh gosh. Muchas gracias. Gracias. Buenas tardes. Okay. Sometimes it does help that you know some Spanish. <laughs> Not that I can understand everything that they say, but I can say more or less what I want to say at least. Go to the right. Go to the right. Yeah. So apparently we can. Come down here. I'm a bit confused as to where. Hopefully we'll figure it out. <laughs> okay, so we think that we have to cross the waterfall. <laughs> wow.
Okay, I'm gonna put my GoPro away for this. <laughs> that is disgusting. Okay, we're good. Okay. Nice. Can you mind? <laughs> so we just walked across this waterfall here and like look at the drop! Oh my god, what are we doing? <laughs> at least it's kind of pretty. Not really. <laughs> okay, so we just crossed the waterfall. I put away my camera because I was scared. <laughs> but uh, apparently it turns out that I have a slight fear of heights. Um, yeah, who would have thought? <laughs> Never felt scared of heights like that before, but I guess because it's a slippery rock, I was like nervous to go in it. Now my shoes are really slippery. My foot's sl sliding on the sole of my shoe. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> This is much like an adventure. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we have there to. Was no point in here. Huh? There was no point in here. Huh? Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we accidentally picked up a guide, <laughs> um, and we have to walk through the waterfall now. Hmm. Okay. Here we go again. Hopefully, I don't hurt my foot this time. Yeah. This is so much easier with these hiking sandals on. Oh, nice. Refreshing. Okay, I'm glad that I didn't cut this out of my itinerary because I nearly didn't come today. But that is beautiful. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. So to get to the second one, you have to go through the first one, apparently. <laughs> Walking through a second one. <laughs> I have a feeling that he's just taking us like on a really weird route, like back and forth. This water's a lovely temperature. It's perfect. It's really nice to pull you down, but um, I have a feeling like he's just like. Oh, we can. We can have a shower in the next one. Okay. Nice. Okay. Cool. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> I have to say the breeze, like the what is it called? Like the The mist. Water, the mist from this waterfall is very nice and cooling. Oh, it's not even like that sunny today, but it's hot. Oh, I can see another one through here. There's lots on this like little route and we're literally doing two of them, so if you do all five, there must be loads, but I think they get smaller, so I think we're seeing like the best ones. But oh my god! <laughs> We've got to make sure that we don't grab a snake. <laughs> I just realized I was filming the waterfall like under it with my bag wide open. That's good, isn't it? <laughs> Get your hair wet this time! Yeah, you have to go out of there! <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. It's a little I think it's a shoelace also. Because it's got like the thing at the end. Oh, it could be the plant stem. Yeah, it's a plant stem. It's a little plant. Looking like a little snake. Oh. <laughs> I think I'm going to get this in a lot because I have now got no bug ribbon on. <laughs> but as long as we keep moving here, things will be okay. Oh, that was a dirty puddle that I just stepped in. Nice. where one finishes and where the next one starts. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm content with how many waterfalls we've been to. I need to get up to San Salvador. Um, it's been nice. I wish the sun would come back out, but I mean, I'm not that cold. And we're going to be hiking anyway, so it's fine. Okay, so that random guide that we picked up, he's, he's gone off home. Um, and we are going back to the first waterfall that we saw this on the road with it. Ooh, to spend a little bit of time there. It was a wasp. <laughs> um, and so we hopefully we'll be able to find our way back. I think I think we're nearly there to be honest. Um so yeah, we just left. Sorry. Um I feel like I'm very like, ah, oh, you need a guide. And to be honest, I'm kinda of glad that he did decide to just randomly be our guide because I'm not sure that we would have found the the second waterfall. You have the tiniest bit of dirt like behind your heel in your shoe and it's just so like like the princess and the frog like the tiniest little thing can cause you so much like irritation um but yeah anyway i don't think that we would have found it without him um so it's probably a good thing that he did decide to join us i'm not actually he didn't ask for any money or anything he just left so yeah nice free guide uh nearly back at the first waterfall i think so I'm going to put my camera away so I don't flip. So we made it back to the first waterfall and here we are again. It's so beautiful. So nice. Okay, so to leave um, at that part where we weren't sure if it was right or left, we've now taken the left path. Oh, dogs. <laughs> Um, yeah, we've taken the left path and we're going like up and I think it's shorter. It's like the other part of the route that um, All Trails gave us. Hopefully. Uh, uh, yeah, hopefully we should be able to make the bus at 10 past 2. It's currently... I have no idea what the time is. <laughs> Maybe 1. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a it's a butterfly cocoon oh, and it's like it just wriggled so I think it's gonna hatch soon. <laughs> <laughs> of my feet. Oh god, butterfly. They are disgusting. Ew. 
Sorry, I just stopped. <laughs> it was an important stop. <laughs> Had to be done. <laughs> We've got a crazy dog who wants his tassels. <laughs> Where are the guide dogs? Back home, probably. <laughs> well, they just <laughs> left. <laughs> ¿Dónde están tus perros? Atrás vienen. Ya van a venir. Yeah. <laughs> Ellos llegan a la casa. Ah, okay, okay. To be fair, my dog used to walk himself home. <laughs> really want to play. Yeah, he does. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> <is> so cute. <laughs> it's like they're holding hands and just walking together. Hola. Hola. So as we're walking back down this track, we see some people with some melons in a wheelbarrow and we bought one. <laughs> uh, $1.50. Very nice. Some seeds on it. Mm. So, this is the route that Google Maps has taken us to get back to Hawaii. It uh, seems a little bit of an odd way, and um, we turned like left down like a really dusty looking, <laughs> leading to the middle of nowhere kind of looking path but like i can't see another way to go back to Okaya. we don't really have time to um, mess around otherwise we'll miss the bus at 10 past 2 and then there's not another one until 10 past 4 which would mean that i'd only just make the last bus to san salvador we might end up having to stay an extra night in santa ana if that happens um otherwise we could get a taxi but i'd rather not because we paid for a taxi on the way here i'm sure this is right we'll we'll get there <laughs> if my phone says it's right it must be i put way too much trust in google maps <laughs> <laughs> but I mean it seems to be seems to be looking the right direction hopefully Google knows what the hell it's talking about I mean hopefully we'll make the bus but I need to figure out where we're going from here I think it's still this way yeah so like the car would be like this like a little dirt track not the uh route that I would have thought to get back to a town, but mm, we'll see, we'll see, I'll let you know if it works. Sorry. <laughs> Passing the little bridge, and then I think we go up here. It's very clean here. Tidiest place I've ever seen. Nice. So we've made it onto the bus, now we're heading back to Santa Ana. Um, I need to tell you where the bus stop was because I actually forgot to film it. Um, is it? Okay, I'll move my bag in a sec. Um, so the bus stop that we went to was, if you type in on Google Maps, Super Selectos Hawaii. Um, and then wait there and the bus was at 10 past 2 and it cost 90 cents to get all the way back to Santa Ana so a lot cheaper than um, our taxi on the way here um, so you could definitely do this day very cheaply if you walk yourself and you can literally do it for two dollars if you want um, but yeah, heading back to Santa Ana now I think it's like an hour and a half or something on the bus so yeah, it's gonna be a while <laughs> bags on me um, the big supermarket is like just around this corner to the left um, it's called I don't know what it's called I'll insert the name um, but I am currently stood opposite currently stood like opposite Pizza La Siciliana Don Pollo um, so like basically just stand opposite maybe I'll come down here actually a little bit more but um
to San Salvador to eat anything other than Doritos, so I ended up getting a Subway. Um, they're actually really cheap in El Salvador. Um, but I also just want to say that I really, really loved my time in El Salvador. Um, I literally was only here for like five days, but I wish I had so much longer. And I'm definitely going to come back here at some point, maybe on this trip, maybe on another trip in like a year, a couple years time. Um, but I would love to come back and see like everything in El Salvador. It feels really safe. And if you don't know, there's a new president who's like got rid of all the um, bad people, <laughs> put a lot of people in prison. Um, so it's actually quite a safe country now and like the locals are all very welcoming, they're all happy that people are like traveling their country and exploring it again. Um, so yeah, I really really liked it, it's very beautiful, there's a lot of things to do in the Santa Ana area, if you go to Santa Ana and base yourself there, there's a lot of things to do, like they're all about like an hour, hour and a half or so away depending on how you get there, like by bus or scooter or whatever. But there's so many things to do in the area, like the volcano, the Seven Waterfalls hike, the... Um, I can't even think now. Anyway, there's loads of things to do. Um, the Route de Flores. Uh, yeah, I don't know. There's even more things that I don't even know about. There's some ruins and I wish I could have longer here. Um, and I wish that I could go to like El Tunco and stuff, but I'm also so excited to get to Utila now. So um, this is going to be the end of this video. This is actually the beginning of my trip to Utila from Santa Ana. So I'm going to end this video here and I'm going to start the next video pretty much now. 